<laughs> we're back, episode two of The Godfather. That's right, we're gonna show you a bunch of new stuff that we've been working on on it. Last episode, we used the, we showed you the door handles, the bumpers, tucking them in, sucking them in, the reverse hood, and some of the engine. I'm gonna show you a heck of a lot more now, so let's go, come on. So on The Godfather, we decided to do something a little different. We shaved the gas filler neck, which is off the side here, that used to go straight into there. Um, we're doing a bunch of stereo stuff in this one. It's gonna be kind of different, so we're actually gonna put the fuel tank down here. I think this would probably work with the stock location as well. But we ordered a electric hinge kit for a 55 Bel Air, I think it was. Um, we thought we might be just modify it just a little bit, and that turned out not the case. <laughs> so we ended up recutting the whole plate, changed the track width. It's still very similar to what they have, but our tail light, the way it fits in the corner, uh, doesn't allow it to go right. So this is not adjusted 110% yet, but it's really close. And I can show you today how it works. Once it's dialed in, it will open like this. So then the fill filler neck will be right here. So when you want to go put fuel in, you click it on there. Keep in mind, we don't have a rubber gasket on it. We haven't finished it all. It's not 100% aligned, um, but it's all adjustable and ready to go, so. Pretty sick, huh? <laughs> Stop the phones! That's right, it's time for a giveaway. Our buddies over at Blackfly said, hey Jeff, let's give away some sunglasses. So everybody that subscribes, we're gonna put you in a bucket, pull your name out, and you're gonna get a set of free sunglasses, just like mine. All right, so now, grab a beer, relax, and sit down and watch the rest of our episode. And don't forget to subscribe, woo! B-pillar delete. This is the most wanted thing in these Lincolns because when you roll the windows down, it makes a nice open uh, vert style window. Uh, what we did here is we actually built these out of sheet metal. Uh, Peter formed them all and made them all so they're bolt on. What we're really gonna do though is we're gonna make an extrusion. So actually be made out of aluminum. Uh, extrusion is basically a die that aluminum gets pressed through and comes out a certain shape. Uh, you've probably seen it in different parts made around. So we'll show you more of this when this is finished but you can kind of get the idea of where we're going. Now I want to show you the badass shit. Check out this motor. Well, what we have here is a twin turboed, two precision turbos, LS motor with dual throttle bodies. This is built for about 1500 horsepower. Uh, the boys over at Brian Tooley Racing helped us design the motor, build the motor and uh, we basically assembled the motor. So now what we're working on is actually all the sheet metal around the compartment here. Um, intake, intake two, Peter's knocking out. Uh, seven's gonna jump on the firewall piece, which is we're gonna sheet metal all in. We got the billet hood hinges going in there, so we have more sheet metal that we need to do around those to hide everything, because we want everything to look super clean, super fresh. So I'm gonna give you the basic overview of what we did on the firewall. Uh, when you put an LS motor in here, they have a shit ton of room in between the firewall, actual, the stock firewall and the motor. So what we wanna do is try to use up all that space in there. And what we decided to do is a battery tray. It's gonna be the second battery in the car, which is mean just accessories and stereos and stuff like that. This one here will not be used to start the car. It's an accessory battery. So when we turn the key on it, I'll turn this one on and then I'll charge off the system and everything will work great. We've done it a lot. It's nice to have an extra battery for backup. It'll also have a battery tender, so you never really have to get in there to touch it. If the car sits in the garage for a month, you just plug in a battery tender, it charges both batteries, you're good to go. Now, to another cool part. That's right, this car is full of them. Check this out, we CNC cut the grill out of wood. What we're doing is actually uh, kind of an old school trick, and yeah, I know I'm a mini trucker, and this kind of comes from that era, but I think it's pretty badass. We're actually making a phantom grill that goes in like that. Now this is kind of a test piece uh, that we cut out of the MDF just so we could see that it's gonna work. Obviously we need to change a little bit of radiuses in the corners, and maybe just tighten it up a little bit, and then we'll actually have two pieces that go here. We will take these out, and we will we'll make this, we'll, we'll, this will end up trash, basically. This is just a template to see if it works and to make sure we don't cut up a $500 piece of aluminum and then it doesn't work. So next up, we'll take it to the machine shop. We'll get a piece of half-inch material, bolt it down, start machining, and then the grill will be made for this car. So I'm pretty excited about it. I'm, I'm, it's, it's gonna have a little more contour to it. It's, we changed a few little things and some dimensions and stuff, 
but uh, I don't know anybody that has one in Lincoln, so hey, we're the first again. So the, the brake booster system, we decided to shave it off the firewall. One, we wanted to clean up the firewall and then have a room for a battery box and uh, other stuff up there. So we did a 90 degree pedal and then we put the electric master cylinder on it, which is actually has a pump that goes underneath the fender that actually produces the vacuum for the brakes. They work really well, we've used them a lot. Um, so that'll be part of the interior now. So we'll have a couple brake lines going out and then outside out all the regular brake stuff. So it's pretty sick. It'll be, uh, it'll be one of a kind, that's for sure. We'll hope you enjoy today's show. It's short, sweet, but yet it has a lot of stuff that we've been doing to the car. We have a lot more to show you. We're super excited about the car. It's probably with the fattest Lincoln that's ever came out of DBS Customs, so we're pretty stoked about that. Um, we have uh, bodywork and paint is next. And we'll probably get it all roughed in, get all everything jammed. Uh, we have the fabrication of all the interior. Um, that's gonna be pretty sick. The sound system and wiring. So uh, stay tuned for episode three. See the next level, the next step on The Godfather. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors. Let's go have a beer.